Hi, it's Katrina. From sacrificial pits from a lost culture to a spiritual site with electromagnetic currents, here are eight mysterious archaeological finds. Number 8. The San Qing Dui Jade in the spring of 1929, a farmer in the quiet village of San Xingdui in China's Sichuan province was digging a well when he discovered a large stash of amazing jade artifacts. They were unlike anything anyone had ever seen before, and Chinese archaeologists scoured the area for years looking for more evidence of the lost people who had made the artifacts. It wasn't until 1986 when two massive sacrificial pits were discovered, each one containing thousands of gold, bronze, jade, ivory, and pottery artifacts that were unlike anything that had ever been found in China. These were the remains of an ancient culture dating back 3,000 to 5,000 years, a culture nobody had even suspected existed. The artifacts in the sacrificial pits had been broken and burned prior to being carefully buried as offerings to ancient gods. The objects included the largest bronze masks ever discovered, the largest and best preserved bronze statue of an upright human figure, a 12-foot tall bronze tree, axes, tablets, sculptures with animal faces, dragons, snakes, birds, human-like heads with gold foil masks, and knives, rings, a giant wand, and a complete sacrificial altar. This discovery effectively rewrites the history of early China. Prior to this discovery, the accepted history was that Chinese culture began in the north and spread out from there. This discovery proves that there was a thriving and distinct culture in the south, never described in any historical texts, and otherwise completely unknown. Archaeologists have linked the San Qingdui culture with the ancient Shu dynasty, but exactly who they were and what happened to them remains a mystery. Number 7. Ancient Solar Disk It might be hard to imagine any ancient power rivaling the Roman Empire, but one such group from Romania had built an impressive group of fortresses in the 1st century BC and apparently gave Rome a run for its money. At least for a little bit. The Dacians were mostly Thracians who once inhabited the area of the Carpathian Mountains and west of the Black Sea. They later expanded to include Scythians and Celts who formed an alliance against the Romans. In the first century, King Burebista united the tribes and established the capital in the Oresti Mountains in western Romania. Little remains today of their empire and they are still shrouded in mystery. Of the structures that still stand, there are a group of heritage sites with an impressive display of massive stone rings or discs, as well as a structure of standing stones known as Romania's Stonehenge. The Andesite Sun is a large stone disc believed to be a sundial. It was crafted from 11 blocks measuring in total about 22 feet, with 10 rays carved into the surface of each slab. The disc also has a long arrow made from 16 stone blocks, evidence that it was used for astronomical purposes. The Dacians were influenced by contact with Hellenistic Greece, and geometry and astronomy were important elements to their society. The sacred zone of Sarmi Zegetusa includes temples, sanctuaries, and other constructions dedicated to spirituality and astronomy. The sanctuaries there are said to correspond to the movement of the Sun, the planets, namely Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, with one corresponding to the Moon. The circular collection of pillars are said to be dedicated to specifically worshipping the sun, functioning as a sacred circle used for rituals and magical practices. But the Andesite sun is an equally important part of the complex, used as an altar together with the temples at the site to aid the ancient Dacians in their religious ceremonies and rituals. Although it suffered massive destruction after the Roman conquest in 106 AD, it stands as a testament to the ancient people of Romania and their astronomical beliefs. Number 6. Gotland Stones In Gotland, Sweden, 3,600 prehistoric grooves were found scored into the surface of stones scattered throughout the island. Some were found directly imprinted into limestone bedrock, and others were found on some 800 other stones. With some structures that date back to the Neolithic times, Gotland has stone rows or circles and dolmens, and large megalithic tombs dating back to 3,600 BC. Some seem to correspond to astronomical alignments, including connections to the moon, to major sun events, as well as connections to other planets, stars, and constellations. Most of the grooves measure from 1.5 to 3 feet long, 2 to 4 inches wide, and 4 inches deep. 
none of the grooves are parallel, with most crisscrossing over one another. Some believe the grooves are the result of rainwater, but it looks more like they were cut into the rock by some ancient people. Found on the largest island in the Baltic Sea, they are the largest concentration of grooved stones in Europe. Evidence of similar stones have been found in France dating from the Neolithic era. When they were first discovered, researchers wondered if they were made to sharpen Neolithic axes or stones during the Middle Ages. But with no weapons found in excavations at the site, that theory is still up in the air. When researchers at NASA studied the grooves, they were able to compare them to the start and end of the full moon on different dates in a 19-year interval. But until more analysis is done, the reason for these stones and their mysterious grooves will remain as mysterious as the prehistoric people who created them. And now for number 5. But first, be sure to subscribe to Origins Explained if you haven't already, and let me know which one you would want to see in person in the comments below. Number 5. Roswell Rock Even though it happened over 70 years ago, the Roswell incident continues to inspire fascination and speculation. As a refresher, in 1947, the U.S. Air Force claimed to lose a balloon that crashed at a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. Since then, many ufologists believe that an alien spacecraft, or several, had crash-landed in Roswell and that it was covered up by the military. More or less, that's how it goes. More recently, a man named Robert Ridge set out to do a little deer hunting in 2004, near the site of the infamous crash. What he found set the rumor mill spinning once again. After coming across a strange object protruding from the ground, it looked like a rock, so Ridge picked it up and cleaned its surface, revealing a strange pattern. In the image, there are two crescent moons joined at the corners that look similar to a set of crop circles that appeared in England in 1996. The engraving was crafted with incredible precision. So was the rock left behind by an alien visitor or a souvenir made for tourists? To find out the origin of the strange object discovered in the New Mexico desert, Ridge contacted two ufologists who spent time trying to find out whether the item was real or if it was simply a souvenir from a stand at Roswell. After studying the two-inch wide artifact under a microscope, they were unable to find any tool marks, and they later determined the rock actually had magnetic properties. Perhaps it was made from a lodestone, the original natural magnet used in early compasses. They also determined it was not native to the area where it was found, where limestone is the more common rock. With clear defined beveling, researchers believe it had to have been cut with a laser, since sand blasting alone would not be able to obtain the same results. Some people believe the engraving could possibly depict the existence of parallel universes. After a group from a show called Ancient Aliens, perhaps you've heard of it, conducted a CT scan on the stone, they proved that it was not hiding a magnet inside. Although others continue to try to prove that the stone is fake and easy to replicate, whether the rock is a cosmic map or a promotional item is still up for debate. Number 4. Romanian Giants a group of mystical cave churches in Romania with ties to early Christianity are the site of previously unknown archaeological and cultural treasures. Used as a place of worship for thousands of years, the area has hundreds of legends and reports of paranormal occurrences. High in the Buzau Mountains, there are over 15 cave settlements that have been uncovered over three square kilometers. But the strangest thing is that they seem to have been built by giants. The region is known as Athos or Giant's Land. Some of the caves are geological forms, while others have been carved into it over the years. Another area, Rosia Montana near Transylvania, is a well-known mining area, where in 1976, a strange skeleton was unearthed reported to measure 32 feet tall. Its legs were on one side with the head on the other. Since it was so large, it was sent to Moscow, and since then nothing else has been reported about the giant. But the story of this strange find started long before the discovery. 5,500 years ago, ancient Scythians who occupied the area built an underground gallery, which was later unearthed in February 2012, when a group of geologists were following a gold vein in the same area. This place was valued by humans for thousands of years. Upon uncovering the gallery, they also discovered a gravestone which was later found to be made from 50 karat gold dust, granite dust, and wolfram, a chemical element. Even stranger, the rock was made with a type of technology not known in modern times. Known as the Hyperborean Gallery, the area was later sealed after the discovery of the giant skeleton. On the gravestone accompanying the remains, there was a strong bas-relief writing in a diagonal spiral pattern covering it. 
Upon removing the stone, researchers found the entrance to a pit with a spiral staircase and violet light radiating from inside. After a number of other strange occurrences, including the disappearance of a paleolinguist who entered the pit to find the origin of the strange light, nobody was brave enough to go in with him, and he never came out. The army later sealed it, and it was never spoken of again. With a number of legends in Romanian folklore surrounding giants, it's difficult not to speculate that those stories could have in fact been true. And with additional unusually tall skeletons uncovered in other mountainous regions of Romania in the 40s and 80s, the discovery of huge humanoid skeletons is quite mysterious. But considering the fact that most of these discoveries seem to go missing soon after being unearthed, if they ever really happen at all, leaves the truth in the dark. Number 3. Naupa Waka, Peru High up in the remote mountains lies a megalithic marvel. The sacred site of Naupa Huaca in Peru demonstrates incredible craftsmanship and engineering inside a mountain cave. There is an inverted V-shaped entrance carved into the mountainside with a false door that goes to nowhere, but it is large enough for someone to sit inside it comfortably. Known as a spirit door, this false door marks the passage of the Earth's electromagnetic currents known to generate out-of-body states. This was a spiritual place used for shamanic rituals. The question is, how did they get the shape so precise and the walls so smooth? What tools did they use? Upon first glance, its three doors are strikingly similar to three-door temples built by the Incas and Egyptians. Its builder was able to find part of the mountainside that had traces of blue stone. The blue stone contains a type of crystal that has magnetic properties. This stone has been used in other spiritual Neolithic sites around the world, most notably Stonehenge, whose builders went 200 kilometers to find it. Besides the perfect lines and smooth surfaces, the main area is also cut to a perfect fifth in musical notation, one that would definitely help in channeling music or incantations during rituals. Like other temples that are similar around the world, Naupawaka is found in a remote location with a sensory-deprived environment that can generate the perfect conditions to experience other levels of reality. While the spiritual origin of this three-window portal seems to point to something from another world, some culture long before the Inca appeared has left a lasting impression. Number 2. Asun Obelisks the city of Aksum, Ethiopia was once the epicenter of the powerful Aksumite kingdom from 100 BC to the 12th century. The obelisk of Aksum is an enormous steel or obelisk that weighs 160 tons, ornamented with two false doors at the base and carved decorations on all sides that look like windows. Dating back to the 4th century, it is one of many stelae carved and erected in the kingdom. It was a very old practice, most likely inherited from the Kushites. Over time, many of these obelisks collapsed, but when the Italians occupied Ethiopia in 1935, they stole it and moved it to Rome. It was cut into five pieces and then reassembled as a monument in the city. After much contention and many years of diplomacy, the 1700-year-old granite obelisk was finally returned to Ethiopia. The 24-meter-high stone is an important national symbol and considered a sacred object. Like many other ancient objects, people are astounded at how this hard granite could have been carved so long ago with such precision. Doing something on this scale is tough even today, so what kind of tools did they use, and how did they get it up in the air? Their false doors and sharp lines remind some people of modern apartment buildings. Some researchers think that some of these stelae are much older than we think. Perhaps they were inherited by the Kingdom of Aksum and were re-erected by the people afterwards. Regardless, these enormous monuments have witnessed many things that have probably been lost to history. Number 1. Cambodia's Medieval Cities In 2016, archaeologists revealed the discovery of previously undocumented cities hidden in the Cambodian jungle. Not far from the ancient temple city of Angkor Wat, LiDAR technology revealed multiple cities hiding in the jungle dating back to medieval times. As one of the most popular tourist attractions in Cambodia, Angkor Wat is considered one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. It was the capital of the Khmer Empire that ruled much of Southeast Asia between the 9th and 15th centuries. With a number of elaborate temples and countless sculptures, the site stretches through almost 250 square miles of forested area. But when researchers conducted laser scans in the area in 2015, they discovered a series of additional archaeological sites, 
including a city in the jungle that is believed to be larger than Cambodia's current capital city. Because so many of the original structures were built using wood, they have degraded and been covered by jungle. But by using laser beams to collect data from underneath the vegetation, researchers were able to detect mounds of earth, building foundations, walls, roads, and other structures. Surveying over 734 square miles of terrain over 90 hours, the group found more population centers and temple complexes that they didn't know existed until now. It was the most extensive airborne study ever undertaken by an archaeological project. Imagine the excitement of uncovering entire cities hidden underground. One of the most impressive finds was a medieval city not far from the ancient temple city of Angkor Wat. Thought to be between 900 and 1400 years old, it has elaborate water systems built hundreds of years before we thought they existed. How did the empire develop? What happened to the empire? How did it end up collapsing? There are more questions than answers. Thanks for watching! Which one did you think was the most intriguing? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon!